Okay, get into a dead bug position. Suck belly button to spine. Don't let me move you. Why are you so weak? Okay, now create abdominal pressure. Good, hold that. Don't let me move you. So strong. <laughs> So what you just saw was me completely overpowering Dr. Green's core strength by cueing him to brace his core in one way. The next way, his core was braced very strong and I was not able to break his strength by cueing a different way. Let me show you how. Hey, I'm Dr. Holleran, and right now I'm gonna talk to you about a concept called intra-abdominal pressure. Uh, if you are a patient here at Momenta Chiropractic, you've probably heard us talk about this before because it's a very foundational, um, essential skill to have to be able to create intra-abdominal pressure to help you maintain different symptoms of low back pain or if you're an athlete learning new skills for your sport. So the best way that we found to explain this concept is by using a soda can analogy. You wanna think about the core as a cylinder. So the top of the can is the diaphragm, the bottom of the can is your pelvic floor, and then the surrounding part of the um, outside of the can is your abdominal muscles as well as your spine. So when that can is at its strongest point, it's fully pressurized and closed. If I were to stand on top of the can, I wouldn't be able to crush it easily. As soon as you open the can and release that pressure or ding it in some way, it's more easily compressed. Same goes with our core. Um, if we're not contracting our abdominal muscles and creating pressure within the abdominal cavity in a format that will help support the spine, you're going to very easily be vulnerable to different um, movements that are gonna put your spine at risk of injury. Okay, so I've brought Dr. Green back to help me demonstrate these concepts again. So first I'm gonna show you how we cued him the first time. Go ahead and bring your arms and legs up. First I had him pull his belly button to spine. This is a common way that we brace our core that feels tight because we can feel our, our muscles contracting, but let me show you how you're not creating the same stability um, with this type of contraction. So pull belly button to spine. Don't let me move your legs and Pretty easily I can push his legs downward. Um, now we're gonna do the soda can way. We're creating um, lots of strong stabilizing pressure within the abdominal cavity. And you'll be able to see how not only can he create this stability, but he can hold it too. So now don't let me move you. And I'm pushing pretty hard here. And he's suddenly a lot stronger. So you can see how this concept of creating intra-abdominal pressure and fully utilizing um, our muscles and uh, the pressure within our abdominal cavity optimally, we're able to stabilize our core and actually use it against movement. We wanted to show you this example to demonstrate how intra-abdominal pressure really does impact your ability to brace your core. Um, you saw how it helps you maintain stability, which is gonna translate into a lot of your everyday activities. So we have other videos that'll walk you through the steps of how to actually practice this technique of creating stability and pressure through the core. So make sure to check those out. Um, otherwise, we hope these were helpful and that you enjoyed it.